But the focus tonight is really on just the French side and how well they performed in that first half. We knew they had a performance like this in them, but we hadn't really seen it so far. Uh, all of their top players really came out and got on the score sheets as well. Dimitri Payet got a goal, Antoine Griezmann got a goal, uh, Giroud got a couple himself. Uh, they came out, they came out five-two winners, but they were four-nil up by half-time. And in truth, this match was all over 20 minutes in. Giroud smashing home from just the edge of the area before Pogba headed in from a corner. And from that point on, Iceland had a lot of trouble. They have been one of the fans' favourites, though, at this tournament, Iceland. Everyone has loved their team spirit and their camaraderie, and their fans have been incredible as well. And they've thoroughly deserved to come back into the match in the second half, uh, which they technically won 2-1 uh, with a couple of goals through pretty poor defending from the French side, it has to be said. By that point, I think France knew they were already through to the semi-finals. Uh, as I say, this was the, the, probably the best <clears throat> we've seen France play since they beat Switzerland 5-2 in the World Cup uh, last competition out. Yeah, big disappointment for those Icelandic fans. Something like 30,000 of them uh, came over to France. That's yeah. about 10% of the population. Let's talk next steps, uh, Mark, because uh, France is now through to the semi-finals and they're going to have a pretty tough match on Thursday, aren't they, when they face Germany? Yeah, it, there's the two favourites for the tournament who are left in there. Uh, France against Germany. The Germany, of course, the champions of the world right now. They knocked France out of the World Cup in the quarterfinal stage 1-0 last time. But this will also be a real sentimental occasion. This is the first time the two teams will have faced each other since November the 13th when Paris had those... Uh, terrorist attacks and including the match here uh, between France and Germany uh, and I think a lot of people will be f putting their minds back to that game when it goes ahead on Thursday. France, uh, th the two interesting stats about this game is uh, that Germany have never lost a tournament game to a host city but France are also 17 games unbeaten on home soil so one of those stats is going to have to go eventually.